hello everyone welcome back to another video so as you can tell by the title we're going to be rating the new shop disney items that were released over the course of the last month i think the last time that i did this was like the beginning of april and today that i'm filming is may 1st so yeah this is going to be my shop disney rating for the month of may i am now officially a brand rep for gingerbread couture which you guys know i absolutely love that shop if you saw my small shops video if you haven't seen that video i will link it up in the cards above so you can use code taylor10 at checkout and i'm just so excited to take my account to the next level by becoming a brand rep for one of my all-time favorite small shops as you could tell, I wear Gingerbread Couture literally all the time. Taylor makes the best scrunchies, headbands, she makes ears, the knotted headbands. If you do use my code, make sure to tag me on Instagram so I can see what you guys are ordering. And yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into today's video. Okay, so up first we have the Walt Disney World baseball cap. And this is actually really cute. I really like this shade of pink. I just feel like it's not really my style. I'm not really a baseball cap girly, but I do really like this light shade of pink. I think that the little detailing around the front is cute with like the little diamonds on there. But yeah, I think that the D is just like a little too big for me. And then the castle is also really cute, but I don't know. There's just something about this that's just like slightly off to me. I really like the back of it. I really like how it says Walt Disney World in that like shimmering silver. It's $30, which I feel like is an average price for a Disney hat. And I would probably rate this like a 7 out of 10. It's just, it's just the logo is really not quite right for me but still really cute. And then up next we have the Matterhorn and Abominable Snowman sketchbook ornament. Why do I like low key want this? I just really love Matterhorn. So I like kind of want this, but it's also like so scary. Like, do I really want this on my tree? I don't think I'd actually purchase this, but I think it's really accurate to the ride. So for that reason, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10, but it's, it's a little too scary for me to be putting on my Christmas tree. And then up next we have the Walt Disney World Spirit Jersey by Joey Cho, I think is how you pronounce his last name. If I'm saying that wrong, please correct me in the comments. But I do think that his artwork is gorgeous. I just don't know if it's really 100% for me. I just think it's their eyes that really throw me off. But I do really like the spirit jersey, honestly. I like the ombre effect from like the lilac to the lavender. And it honestly kind of looks like frozen fractals behind the castle, which is really cute. And yeah, I don't know. I just think this is like a solid spirit jersey. I don't own a single one. I don't know if I ever will. But I do really like this one. I'd give this like a 9 out of 10, but I would not purchase it. So sticking with the Joey Cho collection, we also have the ears which are definitely too loud for me personally. But honestly, on the model with the spirit jersey, I feel like they do look pretty cute, but the ears are just way too loud for me. I definitely would never wear them, but I do like how Tink is in the center because Tink is one of my all-time favorite Disney characters. I think I'd rate these like a six out of 10. I don't think that they're terrible, but just not for me. And then my favorite item from the Joey Cho collection is none other than a puzzle. This puzzle is absolutely gorgeous. It is a thousand piece puzzle, which is right up my alley. And this actually looks like it's quite a difficult puzzle, to be honest. There's a lot of colors going on, so I feel like all the purple would be pretty hard to put together. But I am definitely up for a challenge when it comes to a puzzle, and I think that this one is really, really cute. And I'm honestly probably going to buy this because me and my family have been doing puzzles literally all the time. It's what we do in the spring, fall, winter time when we're not swimming. So I would rate this a 10 out of 10. And if I do buy it and do it, I will let you guys know how hard it is. But this is gorgeous and I want this. So yeah, 10 out of 10. Up next, we have a Stitch Beach Tote, which this is like screaming 2000, like five to me. This really reminds me of my childhood, which makes me really want this bag. I also just think like the iridescent with him surfing, like this is just so cute. The rope handles, like you can tell like, this is really nice quality. It's mostly the iridescent that's calling me, but I also just really like Stitch. So $35, not terrible. This does look like it's great quality. I would rate this a 10 out of 10. I actually do really want this. It's so nostalgic for me. And then sticking in the kind of Stitch category, I guess we have this mug that says, this is a good day to have a good day, which I really love that saying. My mom actually has a pillow on one of our couches that says that. So for that reason, I really like this mug. But other than that, I'm not really a fan of the shape or the color of this, but I'm just like all about a good positive message. So for that reason, I'd give this like a seven out of 10, but I wouldn't buy it. But I also do think that the $15 price tag is actually pretty fair for a mug. So Bobble Bar just recently came out with a Lion King collection and 
not gonna lie they really popped off with this i think these ears are gorgeous honestly the actual headband and the material of the ears looks so soft and comfortable and i just think that the bedazzling on the ears is obviously so freaking cute i really like all the little tassels like the ombre kind of effect that we have going on and the bow is not my favorite but it's also kind of giving giraffe print which if you didn't know giraffes are my favorite animal besides dogs and cats so yeah i really really like these ears and i want them but 58 dollars i mean i guess it's fair because we do have bedazzling going on we have tassels and these are just really really cute and i want these honestly i'm gonna give these a 10 out of 10. i think that they're so cute so good job bobble bar for this lion king release so sticking to the lion king category we have the simba anala tank top this one is obviously not by bobble bar but I think this logo is actually so cute and the color of the tank top is really cute too. It's like this pretty pinky mauve color. Unfortunately, I'm not a tank top girly at all. I'm very insecure of my shoulders, so I just literally never wear tank tops. But if I did, I would actually really like this because I feel like if you had blue leggings, like that blue that's like the trim of the frame, I think that that would be a really cute fit with the ears that I'm about to talk about next. I really like this logo, so I'd give this another 10 out of 10. I feel like Shop Disney, you're doing some good things this month, so good job. So these are the Lion King ears, and again, so freaking cute. Like, I really like how we have Simba Anala on the bow, and then the ears are just like a typical like a tribal kind of print and i just really like all the mix of colors i think that these are absolutely adorable and another item that i really want and honestly guys another 10 out of 10. so up next we have the mickey mouse fantasyland castle earrings by rebecca hook and these are adorable i actually really really want these but i want them in a rose gold i'm not really on board with the silver although i think that these earrings are absolutely stunning i just personally wouldn't buy them but I think that these are so freaking cute. Let's count how many times I say that in this video and really every rating video. But yeah, I really want these another 10 out of 10. So I feel like it's only fitting that we talk about at least one piece of Star Wars merch because May 4th was yesterday. So I feel like I actually have to at least mention one thing, even though I'm not a Star Wars girly like at all. But I actually do really like this Star Wars ribbed top for women. It's got the two lightsabers on there and I just like how subtle this is and I really think that that kind of ribbed baby doll kind of, you know, style is very flattering on a lot of women. So yeah, really like this. Obviously, I probably would not purchase because like I said, not really a Star Wars girly. And I would rate this at like a 9 out of 10. All right, and then up next, we have the three Caballeros ears for the Disney 100 collection. I like how Donald is shaking the maracas on the bow. And you know, you have the other two Caballeros, I don't know their names, not gonna lie, on the actual ears. And I really like how Disney is starting to do this kind of, I know these aren't tassels, but you know, this kind of detailing that's going around the trim of the ears, I think it's adding a lot and making it very, very cute. If I was a fan of Grand Fiesta Tour, which it's not that I'm not a fan, but I'm just like not a fan enough to buy specific merch for the ride, or for the three caballeros but i i do really like the colors of this i think that pink and yellow go very nicely together i'm gonna say a nine out of ten very very cute okay so this next one is gonna be my first negative thought on what i have to review today because these are the minnie mouse strawberry cupcake disney munchling ears and i'm not really into the munchlings at all i don't own any of them i just am not really into it and these ears are also in that category, I am not into these at all. I'm sure they smell like strawberries, but I don't really need my hair smelling like strawberries. I don't need these in my collection in the slightest. I think that if you are a Munchlings fan, that these are probably very cute. But like the, the icing on top and the jimmies, I just, I just, mm. No, but I feel like these would be really cute for a kid or if you're just like into the munchlings, but yeah. Definitely wouldn't buy these and I would rate these like a uh, two out of 10, sorry. <laughs> so I'm gonna be reviewing the entire Little Mermaid collection in a few minutes, but while we're kind of in the ears category, I just wanted to review the Little Mermaid ears. I just feel like if they had put Ariel on the ears and maybe the like fish scale kind of material in the bow that these would be cuter and also just like is this supposed to be a dingle hopper or is this supposed to be like king triton's stick thing i need to know what that's called but i don't 
Um, and then you have like the little gem in the center. I think it's the gem that I also really don't like. I don't like how it's like a rectangular shape. Oh, I'm just, I'm disappointed. I really don't like these. I'll be nice and give it a three out of 10, but no, I'm just, I'm personally disappointed in these and I think Disney could have done better. Okay, so that's actually all that I have to review for ears. Um, so up next we have the Mickey and Minnie Mouse mug which I feel like, is this like a pearl color? I like the concept of this. I like that it's kind of the two characters in front of like a sun, which makes it kind of like, you know, positive vibes. Like I really like those shades of pink and I really like the shades of yellow, but just not on this mug. It's just not working for me. And like I said, with the stitch one, I'm just, I'm not a fan of this kind of shape. So I obviously would not buy this and I would rate this maybe like a four out of 10. So the next mug that I have on here is the Peter Pan 70th anniversary mug. And I feel like the artwork is very cute. And I like that the mermaids don't know their names, but I like that the mermaids have their own little section on here because I feel like they don't get much love. And I feel like that's one of the reasons that people love the Peter Pan ride so much is because of the mermaids specifically. So I do really like this mug, but it's also just like a little bit too busy for me. And I don't really like how it's like that cream along the bottom and then like the lime green over the rest of the mug. So just not really for me, but I just wanted to review these because I do really like the artwork, especially for the mermaids. I'll give it like a 4.5 out of 10. So up next we have the Moana collection. So there is the fleece hoodie, which retails for $60. And I'm pretty sure this is kind of a cropped hoodie. And I actually really like this. I really like the detailing on the strings, like the little beads. And then Moana looks gorgeous as always on the bottom. And I just, there's something about this color that's very cute, very summery. And then there's also pants that match this. So the pants are $55. And honestly, I actually really like them. They look so cozy. I feel like this would be a perfect outfit to wear if you're staying at Polly. I really like this outfit. I don't need it, but... Honestly, I'm gonna give the entire outfit, both the hoodie and the pants, a 10 out of 10. And then up next for the Moana collection, we have the Dooney, which this is the backpack, so not really my style, but I just really love this kind of artwork of Moana. I think that she looks so gorgeous. Ugh, I actually really love this bag. I love that it's like a very cream neutral color with the brown leather straps. I really love this bag, but I wouldn't purchase it just because the backpack style is not really for me but I would give this a 10 out of 10. I think that Duny or Disney or whatever artist this is, is killing it and I absolutely love this collection. So sticking with the Moana theme, but a different kind of artwork, we have the wristlet and then there's also a drawstring bag. I don't love this print as much as the other one. I know it's still like the same artist and like the same collection, but I just really like how Moana is like single on the hoodie and on the Dooney backpack. I think it's like the, the two-toned leaf or palm, whatever that is, that's kind of throwing me off, but still very, very beautiful artwork. But I would rate this as well as a drawstring bag at like, I'll go with a 4.5 out of 10. Not terrible, but not beautiful enough for me to buy it. <laughs> and up next, we have the Mickey Mouse Genuine Mousewear Collection. So up first, we have the pink hat, which actually I do really like this. I'm not sure how I feel about Mickey's shorts being blue. I feel like that's kind of a strange color to pick for this hat specifically, but I really like the minimalistic design. I really like the pink. I like this hat much more than I like the D Castle hat. And I feel like I would rate this like a nine out of 10. Like I said, it's just his shorts that are kind of throwing me off. So there's the genuine mousewear tank top. And then there's also shorts that like kind of match. So the Mickey on the tank top has the red shorts and then the Mickey on the shorts is just the outline of the same kind of shape. And I feel like this is like a really nice neutral Disney outfit for the summer, especially because it's like all black. There's not a lot going on. You just have like the two Mickey prints. Honestly, overall, I'm not really sure how I feel about the Mickey logo. I kind of go back and forth because I do very much love like the Mickey kind of outline because it's more subtle, more something that you can wear every single day. But 
it doesn't really look 100% like Mickey, especially when you like zoom in. So like I said, I don't wear tank tops, so I definitely wouldn't purchase this. But the shorts are kind of more up my alley because they're just solid black, like the dad kind of style shorts. And those are ones that I really, really love because they're like sweatpants for the summer. So I feel like you definitely can't go wrong with those. So if I was gonna buy anything, I would probably be buying the shorts. Still, I think that the logo is just a little bit too big for me. So I would rate the tank top at a, I'll give it like a six out of 10. And then the shorts I would say are probably more of a seven out of 10. It's not a huge difference. And then last up for the Genuine Mousework collection, we have the white or tan tank top and this Mickey has orange shorts on, which I actually like much more than the red and the blue. Well, actually I like it more than the blue, but I feel like the red is like the classic Mickey look. So I don't really know, but I do think that the orange looks nice on the tan, but once again, a very kind of subtle Disney item that you could wear every day in the summer. And I would rate this one like an eight out of 10. I think that this item is my favorite thing from this Genuine Mousewear collection. And then up next, we have the Mickey Mouse Icon Throw Pillow as well as the Throw Blanket. So the pillow is $40 and the blanket is 60. I think that this is actually really cute because like I said, I think that pink and yellow go very nicely together. It's just that I don't have either of these two colors in my house at all. So I would not be purchasing this, but I feel like if you kind of have like a boho vibe going on in your house that the throw especially is really, really cute. I don't really love that material because I know it's probably not the most comfortable material. It looks like it's kind of like a, like a towel, kind of like rough material. So I'd rate the blanket at a eight out of 10 and I would rate the pillow at like a five out of 10. But still I think that this little like homeware Mickey Mouse icon collection is pretty cute. And then up next we have the Minnie Mouse t-shirt dress for women, which I honestly, I'm kind of going back and forth with how I feel about this because I feel like the mini logo is massive and the polka dots are huge. Like I get it, <laughs> like it's a lot going on. I feel like this is just a really nice cover up. So for that reason, I really like it. I honestly think it's the polka dots that are throwing me off a little bit more than the Minnie Mouse detailing, but I don't know. I also kind of like this. So I feel like I'd rate this like a 5.5 out of 10 and I feel like this is something I'd want to see in person to know for sure if I would like want to buy it or not, but I do really like the concept of a t-shirt dress. So next we have a lounge fly. This is the pineapple swirl lounge fly. I don't want to say it's cute because I don't know if that's the right word, but I think it's very like quirky and fun. And if you like fun bags, I think that this is a really fun one to have. So it just kind of has the bamboo handle as well as a yellow leather strap. And then you have your pineapple swirl Dole Whip um, kind of bag. So I think it's fun. I would definitely not purchase, um, but the inside has the enchanted tiki room lining, which I think is very cute. I really like it how it has the little flower on the outside too. I don't know. I think this is a fun bag and I feel like if you're doing a kind of Dole Whip bound, who is doing a Dole Whip bound? I don't know. Maybe some people are, but if you're doing like a Dole Whip bound, I feel like you would absolutely need this bag. But other than that, like when would you use this? What would you style it with? I don't know. Somebody more creative than me would be able to style this and probably make it cute. But I would rate this at like, I'd say like a three out of 10. I think the idea is fun, but obviously I wouldn't purchase it. All right, so next we have a Magic Band Plus. This is the Mickey Mouse and Friends Fantasyland Castle Magic Band. And let me show you guys my shirt so you can really kind of get the full picture. So this shirt is still available on Shop Disney. I'm assuming that this is called the Fantasyland Castle shirt, something like that. But I really love this magic band specifically because it obviously matches my shirt, which you can clearly tell I'm already a fan of this artwork that we have going on here. I feel like the lavender shade is very pretty, but I would rate this magic band at like a seven out of 10. I think that this one is pretty cute. All right, so up next we have these kinds of exercise tennis dresses by the brand Outdoor Voices, which I've never heard of. Here's the thing. I really like the idea of these kind of tennis dresses, exercise dresses, whatever you would call this. I think that it's very flattering, very comfortable, but Goofy is looking a little goofy on this. I feel like this is just extremely loud. It's screaming Disney adult, which I don't love, even though I'm wearing a shirt with like the characters that is so loud, but I just really like the colors of this and it's pastel and rainbow. So I needed it. But anyway, not really a fan of this shade of yellow and it's just, it's really loud. But I feel like if they made this in like a white tennis dress with like subtle little black Mickey heads all over this, I think that that would be really cute. But these like really big character prints, I just, 
I can't do it. I'm gonna rate this dress at a two out of 10. And especially for $118, I'm sure that this brand is, I guess a luxury brand to be charging a price like that. Um, no, I definitely would not buy this. So they also have a Minnie Mouse dress, which is the mini with a blue skirt and like the little flower kind of hat thing that she wears. I'm just not really a fan of anything in that kind of style, but I do like how this dress is white and that the character logos or, you know, graphics or whatever are a little bit smaller. So I feel like it's a little bit more bearable to kind of look at, but I'm still just not really vibing with this one, even though the colors are nice for the summer. I'll give this one like a four out of 10, but yeah, wouldn't buy it. Okay, so another Dooney that I wanted to review was the Mickey and Minnie Mouse Picnic Dooney. This is a camera bag, which I'm not a fan of anything that's a camera bag style because I just don't really love the shape, but the print of them dancing I think is so freaking cute. And I really like how this is just a solid like nude with the black leather straps it is very, very nice because you can style this with like literally anything. So I actually do really like this, but like I said, not a fan of a camera bag shape. So I'd rate this like, I'd say a nine out of 10, just because of my preference for the bag shape. So up next we have the Mickey Mouse and Friends travel bag by Petunia Picklebottom, which is a brand that I've literally never heard of. I don't like this artwork. I feel like the vibes are very retro, which is just not really my style, but also all of these colors are just not working for me. I just don't like this. So I'd rate this like a, a two out of 10, even though the quality looks amazing and it should be for $215. Up next, we have the Mickey Mouse Icon Bolo Bracelet by Chris Liu, C-R-I-S-L-U. Um, another brand or artist or jeweler or whatever that I've never heard of but I really, really like this. I feel like this is great for wedding jewelry or honestly just dressy kind of everyday jewelry. I really, really like how the Mickey is front and center. So I would rate this a 10 out of 10. I actually really like this. And then last but not least, we have the Little Mermaid live action collection, which is what I was most excited to review today. So let's just start with the fanny pack, which retails for $44.99. I don't love the fanny pack. It's mostly the shape that's throwing me off. I don't like the zipper on the front. I feel like if it was just the artwork, that would be a little bit better. It's not really a fan of this, to be honest, but I do think that $45 is a pretty fair price and it looks like it's nice quality. I'd rate this like a five out of 10. Um, definitely not my favorite item from this collection, but still very cute. And I like that Disney is doing fanny packs, especially at a more reasonable price than Stony Clover. Just saying. And then sticking with the bags, I see the Little Mermaid Lounge Fly mini backpack, which just has Ursula on the top and then Ariel on the bottom. And then you have Scuttle and Sebastian on the back. Not really vibing with this. I just don't like that shade of blue personally. So I'd rate this like a three out of 10 and definitely wouldn't buy this. So the other item in the lounge fly collection is the wallet, which I actually use my phone case as a wallet. So I would not use this. I just don't really love the artwork on this one. I don't know, just, it's not really my vibe. So I'd rate this one at like a, like a two or a three out of 10. And then there is the denim jacket for women, which is retailing for $80, which I feel like is a fair price. And I do really love the back, how it says ready to stand with Ariel and Flounder. I think that's really, really cute. The only thing that I don't love about this is those pockets on the front, like the chest pockets. I just don't like how they're just like little, rectangles on there or something. I don't really know. Yeah, not really my favorite. I really love the back of this more than anything. So I'd rate this like a seven out of 10. I don't think it's that bad. And then there's also the Little Mermaid dress, which I feel like the shape of the dress is very flattering, very, very cute. But the dress itself is like a little bit too loud for me personally, but I feel like if I saw this on someone else, I would think that it's really cute. I also really like how it's not screaming Disney. Like it just looks like a typical summer sea vibe kind of dress. So for that reason, I really like it. I think that the colors are fun. It's just not really up my alley personally. So I think I rate this one at like a seven out of 10. And then up next we have the Magic Band Plus, which just has a little flower in the center, which is honestly really giving tangled in my opinion. Um, but we do have Ariel down the sides. And I think that this artwork of Ariel is the cutest in this entire collection because she's kind of giving Barbie and she's got the gems in her hair, like absolutely gorgeous. She's serving. I do actually really like this, but I wouldn't buy it just because I'm, like I said, not buying Magic Band Pluses because they're too expensive. 
but I'd rate this at like like a 7 out of 10. It's just like the flower in the center with the yellow that's just kind of throwing me off because it's not really like giving Ariel to me. So there's also a t-shirt for women, which is honestly really giving t-shirt for kids. Um, maybe if I saw it in person, I'd feel differently, but I do really love this artwork of Ariel, like I said. I would love to see this one in person though, because I think that I would probably have a little bit of a different opinion. So I think I'd rate this one at like a 5 out of 10. And then there's also a sleep set, which I think is actually so cute. And it looks really cozy and soft. And I like how there's like a bunch of different versions of Ariel on here. It really kind of captures the kind of curious personality trait that she has. And I think that all the colors are very, very cute. Like the blues and the purples and that light blue color is also very cute. I'm very much an oversized t-shirt to bed kind of girly. So I don't think I'd actually wear this. But it does look very soft and comfy. And I actually really, really like these. So I'd say like a 10 out of 10 probably. I think that these are very cute. And then there is a spirit jersey, of course. And the back just says part of your world with Ariel sitting on a rock with Sebastian holding a dingle hopper. Is that what she's holding? Yeah. And then flounder is also on here too. This is actually so cute. The only thing negative I have to say about this is that I don't know if I love the kind of darker purple kind of rain fall looking effect on here that's kind of what i think of when i see this i'm sure it's like supposed to be tie-dye but i actually do really love the back i love the colors the sparkly kind of text i like the little aerial on the front she is sparkly and like that ombre effect i feel like if this was like just lavender this would look a little bit better or if it was like a lavender kind of ombre i would maybe consider this to be my first spirit jersey purchase i actually do really really love the artwork on the back so i'm gonna give this a 9.5 out of 10. I think that this is really, really cute. So that is all that I have to review for today's video. I feel like I've been filming forever because there was so many new releases and I'm actually very much a fan of the Little Mermaid live action collection. I especially love the artwork where she kind of looks a little bit like Barbie. I just, I don't know. I just think it's really, really cute. And I'm so excited to see the movie later this month. And yeah, that is all that I have for today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure that you tap the bell icon that you're subscribed so you don't miss when I post, which is every Friday. And I will see you real soon. Bye.